All right, guys, today we're here with Hunter Banks uh, Fly Shop Tire, Aaron Motley, and we're going to be taking care of some business. That business today is the Secret Weapon Fly. It's a version of your traditional Prince nib. One exception to that, tail. The tail of the Secret Weapon is made out of golden pheasant tippet, which traditionally in Great Smoky Mountains fly tying heritage is a Smoky Mountain tire signature. So today we'll take you through that. It'll also be a fly that you can adapt that material into palmer flies, into your royal coachmans. You can also adapt it to your female atoms, as well as the teleco nymph, which is another Smoky Mountain traditional pattern. For your secret weapon, you'll need a one extra long nymph hook, gold beads one eighth, gold wire medium size, black thread, uh, six aught, golden pheasant tippet, peacock hurl, white goose biots, and brown hen neck. All right guys, we got our hook in the vise here. We're gonna lay down our thread wraps uh, to begin laying tracks on this hook shank. A uh, quick way is to hold your tag end of the thread, allowing you to lay down wraps one right beside the other. Stop above the barb of your hook, and you can also use that tag end to snap off your thread. See a scissors. Uh, the first step that we're going to use here is I like to add in my wire and run it up the length of the shank and that gives an even taper throughout the body. Uh, wrap up quickly securing the material and then wrap back down. At this point you are ready to take your golden pheasant tippet which if you'll take and half the length of your shank, which is going to roughly be about in the middle of that little black section of your golden pheasant tippet. We're tying golden pheasant tippet in to be the tail of our secret weapon. Once your material is securely wrapped, three or four wraps there, you can trim it, secure the material, wrap down just a little bit, and now you will progress with four to five pieces of peacock hurl. Uh, give yourself a little room from the tips because they are brittle and will break. After a few wraps there, wrap forward. If you want to be lazy like me, wrap forward there, take a few, pinch off, you're on to the next step, which is going to be building your body up because we did not put lead wire underneath to taper a body. So we are having to make the taper with our thread. So, wraps to highlight the abdomen thorax transition of our fly. Once you have a small taper on there that you're comfortable with, that will vary with the size of your fly, stop there and have a small taper peacock curl. You can spiral wrap this up. And it gives just a slight bulk to the front section of our fly. A good counter locking wrap once, twice, three times, one in front. I feel great about it being secure. The next step is going to be our medium wire. Open spiral wraps, three to four for our size 12 nymph. What I'm gonna do is rotate a little bit there so I can get a counter wrap. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. And at this point, you can helicopter your wire off making a smooth transition there and not dulling your scissors. The next step at this point is we're going to take just a little bit of our brown hackle from a uh, rooster cape and this is another thing about the proportions of a fly. We only want this to be about a half the length of the shank. So in your material, rotate around, 
tie in your second material to help create a little symmetry to your fly for legs. I like to keep some tension, trim off our fibers. And then the last step of your secret weapon is going to be adding two goose biots. These biots should be the length of one shank and should taper back over your entire body. You can add them one at a time or you can add them at the same time. Whichever method you choose, just make sure your materials are secured. I prefer to put both down at the same time for the sake of expedited tying. Use your thumb, one wrap, gather, two secures, three locks down. Heck, why don't we put a fourth for good measure? One in front there. At this point, guys, you introduce your whip finisher. One, two, three, four, boom. One, two, three, four, five. Point, we can trim our thread and we can trim our goose biots. And there is your secret weapon.